All right, guys, so I'm here to talk about it. Terrence Bud Crawford, L. The Truth Spence Jr. 2 may not be happening. Uh, according to this tweet here from Terrence Bud Crawford, he's done. It sounds like he is done, and we're going to talk about that a little bit. Uh, but first, let me read the tweet. Let me read the tweet to you guys, and I'll give you my take on this whole uh, situation. So it says here, th this is actually directed at Errol Spence Jr. He said this to Errol Spence Jr. He says, I done heard it all now at Errol Spence Jr. It's okay, though, because all in all, I'm glad it's over and done with. I wish you well, my brother. So it's sounding like this fight is not going to happen. And I won't say that's set in stone because you know how things in boxing work. You know, it could be everything could turn around tomorrow. So nothing set in stone, but it just sounds like Terrence Bell Crawford is done, guys. Uh, he doesn't even want the rematch anymore. And I think a lot of it stems from, you know, the the excuse making, the excuse making, not coming from the fans, but the excuses uh, that came out of nowhere from Errol Spence Jr. You guys know after Crawford won the fight, Errol gave him his props. He didn't make any excuses. He said, you weren't going to hear any excuses. And we didn't hear any excuses. Uh, most of the excuses were coming from hardcore Errol Spence fans or, or some would call Errol sexuals, uh, making excuses for why uh, Errol lost and uh, coming up with conspiracy theories to why Crawford won. Uh, him, him being a clone and well, Errol being a clone and Terrence Buck Crawford cheating and somebody put something in Errol's water. It was just all these different uh, things that people were saying about, you know, why the fight turned out the way it did. And, and all in all, it was really that Terrence Buck Crawford was the more skilled of the two. He had the better game plan going into the fight and he executed it well and he won the fight. Now, recently, we know that Errol came out and said that he had cataract surgery. And that was the reason why he was taking, you know, he, he wasn't able to see some of the punches coming from uh, Terrence Buck Crawford. That's what he said. He said that on his verified Instagram stories. But then he took that down because it was deemed from some as an excuse to why he actually lost the fight. Some people kind of called him out on it. So he kind of took it down. Uh, and recently it's come out that he said that he had a, uh, a rib injury going into the fight. So there's another excuse there. And it seems like Terrence Buck Crawford heard all these excuses. And he feels like, you know, Errol's trying to taint his win. And I think he's had enough. Uh, that's what I take from this. This is why. He came on here and, and put this out on Twitter. He said, I didn't heard it all now. Now Errol's, you know, making excuses, not the fans, but Errol himself is making excuses. And it's, it's everyone's trying to taint Terrence Buck Crawford's win when the guy put on a brilliant uh, performance to defeat Errol Spence Jr. And I think he's just he's just had enough of it, guys. He's, he's had enough of not getting his props like he deserves. The guy got it from the mud, you know. A lot of people didn't expect him to win that fight. A lot of people said that he hadn't fought anyone. You know, that Errol was going to whitewash Terrence Bo Crawford. And he did that. And there's been nothing but excuses coming from, you know, a lot of Errol Spence Jr.'s fans. And then he, he hears it from Errol. Errol's, you know, he went quiet for a while and he comes out all of a sudden and he says all this. Yeah, he's, he's upset about it. And he just, you know, he's done with it. Now, I don't know if he can get out of it or not. I don't know, you know, what goes on with the contract behind the scenes. We're just going to have to wait and see. But in his mind, I will say he doesn't want he, he, he just wants to move on with this. Uh, he may just retire and I, I'm hoping he, he doesn't. And I think it's a shame that a fighter of his caliber isn't celebrated more. You know w what he's done in the sport, an incredible fighter. And we, you know, people are just. I would say, you know, excuse my French, have been shitting on him. And, and it's unfair to a guy like him. He didn't win Fighter of the Year. I think uh, uh, Naoya Na Anui won uh, Fighter of the Year. Uh, honestly, I, I think Terrence Buck Crawford should have won Fighter of the Year, being that 
He, he did face the boogeyman of the welterweight division, a fight that had been talked about for a long time, and he did it in dramatic fashion. I think he should have won that, guys. Uh, I like Naoya Anui. I, I have him at number two on the pound for pound list. Uh, but I think Crawford should have won fighter of the year. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. So let's see what happens with Crawford next. Uh, you know, there's still some options out there if he still wants to be undisputed. Uh, there's the Canelo equation. If, you know, they can get that made, I, I hope they could. You know, I was really big on that fight. I was really big on Terrence Bell Crawford wanting to go up to 168 to challenge Canelo for the undisputed. Uh, I don't know. The last time we heard Canelo wasn't interested in that. So, you know, we don't know if that's on or off the table still. Uh, he still could go up to 154. Just good fights there. Tim Zhu, the newly crowned WBO champion. I think that would be an excellent fight for Crawford. Uh, Jamel Charlo, you know, he still holds three titles, even though he, you know, I, I would say kind of messed things up but with that fight with him and, and uh, Crawford uh, not, you know, doing so well with the Canelo fight. I, I think that's still an option for Crawford to become undisputed. I, I think he can do that. I know some people want him to fight Boots. Uh, and here's the thing about Boots. I, I made videos about Boots. Uh, Terrence Bo Crawford, you know, not, you know, I don't think Terrence Bo Crawford should face Boots. And it's not because I don't like Boots. It's because I think Boots is not ready yet. I just don't want to see a guy uh, who's nowhere near the caliber of Terrence Crawford go into a fight and, and derail his career uh, that early on. He's just not ready. He hasn't fought anybody. Uh, he hasn't had any adversity yet. And to put him in the ring with Crawford, a guy who's the number one pound, for, pound fighter on the planet, it, it's suicide, guys. So... I I just want Boots to get his shine, but I want him to get his shine when it's his time. It, he's just not ready for that yet. But I, I think uh, Crawford can go up to 154 and, and make some noise there and probably, you know, become undisputed at 154. It's possible. If not, you know, what's left for him? You know, he's going to fade off into the sunset. He's going to retire. And it's a shame. He's the best fighter on the planet and this is how he gets treated in the sport of boxing this is what you know we do to our best and, and it's a damn shame so we'll see what happens with this well let's let it play out uh you know i don't even know what to think guys i, I you know i'm, I'm kind of disappointed in the whole thing but we'll see what happens with terrence bell crawford's career we'll see what happens with errol but you guys let me know what you think about this one in the comment section. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.